Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Alright, so with that now in mind, we can go ahead and attack. Oh, uh, target creature gains flying. I have a full party. I do have a full party. Oh my gosh. Are you looking to upgrade all your commander decks with all the sweet new stuff from Commander Legends? Well, don't you worry about it because Card Kingdom has all the Commander Legends products up right now for order at cardkingdom.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Historic 101. This week we've got a user submitted list by Awesome Wasim, and let me tell you, the deck list is most certainly awesome, so thank you for the submission. It's called a Holiday Office Party, office as in company, collected company, party, because party mechanic, and that's what the deck likes to do, party. And I do agree that the deck does party hard. It's pretty disruptive. Uh, it plays a lot like, you know, a modern, like, Coco Spirits play style. Uh, you know, it, as I had mentioned, it's it's disruptive because we've got con con concerted defense, a few copies of that, but we also have uh, Meddling Mage, which can be hit off Coco at instant speed to really dunk on the opponent. Uh, we've got Linvala to Shield of Seagate, by the way. This gives all of our creatures Hexproof or Indestructible. Deputy of Detention to pick off multiple permanents, potentially. And of course, as you know, collect the company. This is just a sweet, sweet tempo deck, and I definitely enjoy it. Uh, there's lots of hits in the deck. It's got like, what, 30 plus hits? So either way, thank you so much for the submission with Seam. Let's see how the deck does in a, an event. Let's take the play. All right, let's see if we can get the party going, if you would. We've got a one drop, a two drop, three drop, and a four drop. So I think that's a curve. We just need the lands to support it. Of course, our three drop is entirely dependent on whether our opponent has stuff to do, but... That's fine. So we're gonna go ahead and shock in Archpriest of Iona. All right. Uh, that is a land. Since we don't necessarily need our three drop right now, I'm gonna go ahead and play that. Uh, Enter the battlefield if it was kicked. Revealed. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just play Hollow Blade. Let's go ahead and get in there. Pass to the opponent. Next turn we'll go ahead and just, oh, wow. Wow. I'll go ahead and play a tapped. Do I really want to get more damage in? Because it only counts as one or the other, right? So we have Warrior, Cleric. This could be Rogue, but we don't have Wizard. Yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, attack for five. I think that's good enough. I don't want to play another even-costed card into a potential extinction event or something along those lines. All right. Interesting. So, uh, let's see. Warrior, Warrior... I guess I'll just go with something like that. And we'll see if they block or not. Sure, they block. We get rid of stuff. So we have an even costed card. They take three. That's fine. They they really only gain one, right? So that that's okay. They Extinction Event here, though. Ooh, a Languish. That's a problem. Well... And we are currently stuck on mana. I'm not going to play a, a Tajuru Paragon into nothing here. I feel like we're going to need to be able to catch up. And unfortunately, the opponent's pretty much playing a, uh, a mono block. Okay, well, no lands again. That's unfortunate. We'll see what we can do here. All right, all right. We know what they're doing. All right, we'll go to the next game. Uh, that's unfortunate. We just kind of got stuck on the Coco mana, right? How many lands do we play in total? Uh, we have 20 lands, not counting the MDFCs. The MDFCs brings us up to 24. All right. So, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and bring in Meddling Mage. At this point, I mean, if we can even hit four lands, that'd be nice, but probably need that. I haven't seen a single blue source all of that last game, but that's just unlucky. All right, so Skyclave Apparition doesn't handle Golos, so let's get that out of here. Deputy of Detention kind of handles a Golos. Uh, let's see, what other wizards do we have access to? I think we'll cut the Trap Finders. Okay, this is a much more keepable hand. Uh, let's see, let's see. Warrior. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play Pelt Collector first. Then we'll go ahead and pa uh, play Purifying, uh, whatever, the Paladin of Purifying Light or Apostle. So we have Cleric Warrior, we have our Super Spell Pierce. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do here? We could just play this to grow everything. Sure. 
and we just get in for some damage. We've got our spell pierce, so when they try to, you know, languish or whatever, we just counter them. Alright, and on to the next game it goes. Smooth. Just the way we like that. Right there. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Should we bring in some Planeswalkers to... Let's see. I mean, Languish is pretty good. But at least now we know that they are going to have to play around some counter magic. They do play Languish, though. That's that's a that's a big deal. That's not an extinction event. Um, Alright, so I guess this is as good as it gets for us right now. I think I'm going to keep all this. We'll lead off with Skyclave Cleric. Alright, and then we'll go into Meddling Mage to name Languish. Well, actually, let's focus on building up a board. So why don't we go Pelt Collector, Archpriest, and then pass to the opponent here. This is where we're going to go and name Languish at the... Or, or we're going to play uh, the Meddling Mage, then name Languish. So we have Cler we have Warrior and Cleric. So we have Wizard here, we have Rogue there. Sure, seems good. Uh, go ahead and name a Languish again. There we go, we're gonna name that now, right meow. And we're gonna go ahead and just go to combat. I think maybe I should have played this Glass Pool Mimic, but... We'll see if we get punished for that or not. Yeah, so they have Languish. Because I wanted to double down and name Languish again. Let's see here. Enter the ballot. If it was kicked, reveal times that you may put a card that shares a creature type with it from among them into your hand. The rest in the bottom in any order. Okay. So they need a land, right? They found a land. They found a land. Oh, they did not find a land. Okay. Huh. Be of your combat if you have a full party creature control whenever it can't be blocked. You have another cleric, wizard, or anything come into play. You know what? I think we're just going to go with one of these. Alright, cool. So now we go to combat. They can only block our pelt collector. So they take no damage this turn. They gain four, so next turn we're going to... I mean, we need to find Coco. We need to get the office party actually going. Can we actually get the full party? Alright, so I can't do anything about that. Huh. And another land... Maybe I should have waited a turn. I can't I can't attack through it. This is a problem because now they can pay for the concerted defense. I mean, I'll try. Alright. So they don't have languish yet. And we drew another land. That's a bit of a bummer pass. What is this now? Ugin or something like that? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's another Ugin. Alright, you got it. GG's. This isn't a bad start. I'll keep. Uh, we can play a tap land. We can also just play... Uh, it's probably blue-white control. Alright, so, yeah, because this just won the tournament, so I think everyone's going to be playing it. It's a baffling end time. Yep. Alright. Um, let's play that tapped. Go ahead and play this. Arc Priest of Iona. Okay, that's fine with me. Absorb. Huh. Let's go ahead and just exile that. Get ourselves a 3-3, three, three, put our put that down to 1. I don't want to play anything yet. Commotion. They get to dig for 2 here. Or they get to dig with that minus 2 of theirs. Alright, do they have Wrath of God? There it is. Alright, let's go to the next one. We have all lands and a Deputy of Detention, so it's just not going to work out. What we need to do is uh, have cards like that. That's fine. Concert, uh, concerted defense will be pretty solid in this matchup. Uh, nimble, probably not good here, not needed. N we don't need a ton of deputies, but I'm a sh I'm a, like pretty sure the opponent's just playing a carbon copy of the uh, Zendikar Championship winning, winning deck, so they'll probably have shark tokens. I'll keep this. This is a beautiful hand. So we start off by naming uh, Baffling End, then we name Wrath of God. They only have one seal away, one shatter the sky. Of course, we can also name Absorb and stuff like that if we think it'll resolve. If we get a third land, that'd be ideal. We get to go play Arc Priest Fight Ona. Then we play Meddling Mage to for sure at least nab the Baffling End. Baffling End. Then we're going to go ahead and play the second Meddling Mage named Wrath of God. 
We'll see if they counter this. If they do, we counter them back. All right, and now we just go in for some combat. If they try to flash anything in or like seal away, I'll kill it. I'll counter it. So we get one more land. We get to play Linvala and then hold up cons uh, Concerted Defense. But at this point, I think they're mostly out of ways to kill us other than blocking us. Make a 1-1. One, one. That's fine. Do I need to do anything more than just hit them with these six uh, for six right now? Not really sure. I don't think I need to, so I'll just go ahead and pass. So this looks like they're about to play... Let's see here. We can swing in, because I'm not too worried about a good amount of stuff right now. Like, right? I mean, we, we just swing in, we let them... We, go, we take them down to two. They cycle a shark, they can kill one of these, but then we can counter the board wipe that they fought, like, that they decide to uh, use next turn. Yep, there's the shark. Even better, do we even care about that? Alright, so they have Baffling End. So that means now I can just go ahead and play... Linvala. And now I can go ahead and give my stuff Hexproof when they cast Baffling End. So I don't have to worry about fighting it and like fighting over it for a counterspell or anything like that. I'll activate to give all my stuff Hexproof. They have to cycle a shark here to get in to like survive. Alright, I'm not attacking because I, I refuse to give them any life off their absorb. Alright, and that looks like that's enough. So, on to game three. On to game three. Vol is a bit mana heavy, but I do like how our deck performed there. That was pretty solid. Let's see, what did they play so far? Really just baffling ends. Stuff like that. They try to cycle some sharks. So, Skyclave isn't really good against the sharks, so we may as well just take that out. Deputy's probably better against the sharks. Let's see. Oh, this is a sweet hand. If we just draw lands here, this is really good. I'm gonna go ahead and play Hollow Blade. They're probably leaving up mana, right? Oh, they're baffling ending now. Okay, that's fine. So I guess we go double one drop next turn. Go Pelt Collector, Archpriest of Iona. I'd really, really like to draw a land here. If I could draw a land, we can get Nissa online. All right. I didn't get the land I was looking for, unfortunately, but I will be able to play Season Hollow Blade. All right, their turn. Now when they sweep the board, I'll just discard uh, something. Who knows? Uh, sure. Seems good. I don't mind if they double block something. If they want to send something in front of my Season Hollow Blade, that's also fine. Uh-huh. All right, so all of it goes in front of the Pelt Collector. That's good. They take six. They can't Wrath of God. They can Shatter the Sky, but we still have protection from that. And from the way I see it, we don't have to worry about... Let's see, do we want double green, double white for anything? Let me see here. Kicker three. Um, I don't know if like I want to cycle or like I want to run this into a shark, uh, the meddling mage. So I'll just let that chill. Yep. Seems good. They'll probably pick off the Arch Priest of Iona. Seems good. X will be one. We'll go ahead and play Nyssa. Who would have thought I'd be casting a Nissa, huh? Alright, let me read Nissa again. Look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card or creature card with convert my cost equal to the number of Lord of the Counters, put that in your on the battle. You may put that card onto the battlefield. Alright, now let's draw. And that should be good, right? That's that's a pretty good card. Wow, are we getting the office party online? Are we getting the office party online? This feels pretty good. Right now they've got to deal with Nissa. They've got to deal with the Creatures on board, they can't Wrath of God, so they have to have Shatter the Sky. They play Teferi here, we get to go and we get to essentially cast some spells. And now let's go ahead and name, what are we naming? Baffling End, Absorb, Babzorb. The land shall conquer you. And we'll go ahead and just attack. Like, pretty much everything in the deck can be put into play. All right, it'll survive. So that's how many sharks have they used now? That's two sharks. Okay. Castle Ardenvale. Sure. Right on schedule. And now let's go ahead and name. What do we have so far? We have Wrath of God, 
absorb. Let's go ahead and name it Baffling End. Hurry. All right, so now we should be able to kill Teferi. Actually, do we even care? Do we just attack them? They can't absorb because we have uh, absorb name by meddling mage. So they can't do anything. So now we just win? GG's. <laughs> uh, we'll try this. This is a, 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 an interesting start. If we draw another green source, we could go pretty ham on the board. I mean, we get to start off with Pelt Collector. Next turn we go maybe another Pelt Collector. Or we could start with Nimble Trap Finder. But I kind of want to just get as many Pelt Collectors out as early as possible. Opponent did mulligan to four. Are they a goblin deck? Yes, they are. All right. Okay, let's go play Pelt Collector. Then we're gonna go play Pelt Collector, Pelt Collector. Holy smokes. They're going off. Okay, so they mulligan to four. They have almost everything they need to just go off, right? I mean, look, look at that. That's absolutely disgusting. They mulligan to four. We also don't have any interaction. Had we had interaction, they'd be dead, but... See, we could start there, play the the nimble trap finder, follow that up with hmm. Okay, so they sack a wily goblin. Do they have Muxus? Because they can technically play it next turn. Ah, yes! Oh no, that's a Okay, so I need to do. That's the line here. I'm just gonna send it all crashing in. They want to trade their Snoop, they can. So we do have, we needed a second white source there uh, so that we could get eat the Skirk Prospector or maybe even the Conspicuous Snoop. I don't think they're sacking the Prospector. They chose to sack that second one, so that tells me that they have something pretty good in hand and they wanted that treasure. All right, so it looks like it's Muxus. Oh, another Wily Goblin. So it is not Muxus. Huh. Interesting. Well, definitely didn't see that happening. Uh, what do we do here? So they can play... Which one's more problematic? I feel like Conspicuous Snoop is a problem. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and eat that up now. Because they'll pretty much either choose to block or, or die, right? Simple as that. And now we can go ahead and just swing in. If they sack, they can block, block, and pump. But they'd have to use all their treasures. And that I can live with. Yep, block, block, sack one. They can take down something. Ah, that's fine. Sure, they kill one. We kill two goblins. We know they're getting a land on top. The Conspicuous Snoop is gone. So next turn, we have an actual pretty solid board against them next turn. And now we should be able to grow the team. Boom! On top of that, Nimble Trap Finder is now unblockable. And they have to block because that's 10 damage. All right, GG's. They did mulligan to four, so that is unfortunate on them. They still kind of almost came back. Just saying. They kind of almost came back. Let's see, what can we do? Oh, they can't, if we play Yasharn, they can't sack all their stuff. Concerted defense isn't needed here. Meddling Mage is quite nice, actually. <laughs> I think I'm kind of on board with that. Uh, that looks good. All right. I think we keep, right? This is kind of like everything we could ask for. We have a deputy to interact with them. We have an early drop. Uh-huh. That's a card that's going to have to go because it's able to sacrifice uh, whatever we try to target with deputy. So I think the first line here is to nab it with Skirk, or nab the Skirk Prospector with Skyclave. Make them sack it. Hopefully they don't have multiples. All right, Wily. Uh, we might be in trouble already. I don't see the opponent blocking. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We're just gonna go play this. I mean, if they have if they have the, the Muxus, we're in trouble. Like I, I can't stop the Muxus right now, anyways. Do you have it? Ooh, nice! Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, we, we have to kill off the uh, Skirk Prospector as soon as possible. It's just too dangerous. That card is so good. Oh, nice. Hold on. No, I'll probably just shock anyways. Because I think we want the second green. We could potentially need the second green. All right. That feels good. Now we have the deputy. Chieftain. If they swing in with Chieftain, we block. 
Uh huh. So that's four, five, six. Will they block with that chieftain? Let's hope so. No blocks. Four, five. I mean, that's pretty scary, right? I'm banking on Coco carrying us out of this. But if they had Muxus, they would have played it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and grab this now. I know that's a damage wasted, but I think I'm going to grab that now. Leaving them with the Lord effects are pretty scary when they can crank -o. Uh, Will they block? I mean, they take six or five here. Sure. They can pump. We'll trade. They didn't want to pump that. Interesting. I'll, all right. Yeah. All them. I feel like I should be saving my Cocos, but no, let's just, let's just try to kill them slowly here. So we have Wizard, Cleric, this would be Warrior, Rogue, either or. Uh, we'll just get in for five. We'll Coco at the end of their turn. I think Coco is going to be essentially our counter spell here. Alright, let's see what we get. That's hilarious. Alright. I guess I could have waited for that to resolve. And now we'll go ahead and eat up that. Alright, GG's! Oh, this is a slow hand. Um, huh. We have all the lands we need. We have Coco? Sure, we have Coco. We have Coco! Oh, it's blue-white control. Alright. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and just play Pelt Collector. Let's see here. They're about to play a certain, uh, they're about to play Wrath of God, right? So we want, we want to have something that can counter or keep up with them, sure. So that one, we'll, we'll just let them go. I mean, of course we have no say in it, but we did put full control mode on just to make it so that they think that we have some kind of counter spell. Uh, we're gonna play around sensor here. And we're gonna go and eat up that Ascanta. All right, I, they've definitely represented that they have uh, sensor. I guess we Coco now, right? I mean, we Coco now so that they have to sweep on their turn. Oh, that's not the greatest, but whatever. We'll take it. No 2-2 two -two for the opponent. So we have a warrior, a wizard. They board wipe. That's fine. Ah, yes. That's exactly what I want. I want to name Wrath of God here. Wrath of God. And I don't want to get caught out by a shark token, so I am just going to pass here. We have Wizard, Elf Warrior, so they, yeah, okay, that's perfect. Baffling End. And now we get in there for five. That's fine. They can play that sensor if they'd like. Or they could cycle that, whatever. We currently have Wrath of God named and Baffling End targeted. So that leaves them with Shark Typhoon. Teferi's a problem, but we can kill a Teferi. Two, four, six, seven. Does this get absorbed? All right, so with that now in mind, we can go ahead and attack. Oh, uh, target creature gains flying. I have a full party. I do have a full party. Oh my gosh. Everything's going into Teferi. Because if they block, Teferi lives, right? So I have to send, no matter what, five has to hit Teferi. Uh, so they're going to try to cycle here. Sure. I don't think we play into any kind of sweepers or anything like that. What I am trying to find is Lavinia. Hexproof. Sweet. So all my stuff's alive. We have a full party. My creatures can't be blocked. We swing in. Oh my gosh. Masterful. Just masterful. You'll love to see it. You love to see it. Oh, that was perfect. That was so perfect. Oh my gosh. Skyclave Apparition's only good for picking off the castouts. Deputy Detention at least hits the shark, so I guess we leave those in. Um, they're probably leaving in Cage, right? So I, I don't... I mean, this answers Cage, this answers Cage. I want Nyssa so that we can actually... Uh, oh, I guess we can bring that in too. 
Yasharn doesn't seem great here in this matchup, so we'll leave Yasharn out. Uh, what do we want now? I think we can shave a Pelt Collector on the draw. I don't think we want a Pelt Collector here. I want this hand, I think. Right? I mean, we have Meddling Mage early. We just gotta hope they don't censor us. They mulligan Craft Digger's Cage. That's fine. Uh, why don't we go ahead and just play this, make them respect it. So they have the fear open blue mana. I guess they don't. Baffling. And I think we're gonna just pick off this Conta if we can. They can't like, absorb us, they can censor us. I'm not, I'm not gonna get censored here. I'm gonna just, uh, like, I'm gonna just play around it. Although, I don't know how many that this deck keeps in against us. So, they can't absorb. This was a knight, so I guess we can get blocked by shark token there, but I don't think they're gonna do that. Do we have basics? I don't remember. We have an island. Oops, that's awkward. Oops, that's awkward. We're about to get board wiped, aren't we? Or to ferry. I guess that's another thing that could happen. Alright. We have to kill to ferry. How long do you want to Uh copy that, name Wrath of God. So a baffling and Wrath of God named again. Counter there, so they don't get to do anything. Boom! I think we have a full party, right? Almost? Oh, we don't. We don't. Not yet. We have Wizard, Rogue, and like this could be Warrior, Cleric, either one, I guess. Timely Reinforcements, that's perfect. We can pick those off. Does this resolve? Does this get countered? Okay. Cleric, Warrior... Rogue Wizard, right? They could pick off the two Baffling End ones, but that's fine. If they double block anything... Right, I think, yeah, okay, sure. We'll just go with this. Okay, so can they... They don't have enough mana to go Wrath of God all the way across the board. Or, I mean, uh, Baffling End plus Wrath of God. Not yet, at least. I guess we just named Baffling End again. Alright. Seems good. GG's! Get dunked! I'll take the play. Oh boy. So this is Luris. Hmm. So if it's Auras, we have a problem. But we have Deputy, so I guess it's not the end, but you're on the play. I'm gonna mulligan. That's just too slow. And that's just not enough lands. Okay! I guess we find a meddling mage. You know what? Am I that desperate to not mulligan? If we just keep a one-lander, do we get rewarded? Eh, content keep. Let's find out. Let's ship a uh, Pell Collector. I'm keeping the 4-drop because if somehow I live that long, I'd like to refill my board. Because I assume I'm going to have to chump block a few times along the way. Ah, look. I did it. So, what do we name here? We name either... I think Core Spirit Dancer is the bigger issue. So I'm going to name that first. If, of course, they don't play one right now. Alright, Adanto. Alright, so Core Spirit Dancer has been named... Go ahead and now just hope that they can't play a Core Spirit Dancer. Then we can, if we draw a third land, an untapped third land, we can go ahead and pick off the Vanguard. Ooh, that's a problem. That's going to gain them a lot of life. Yeah, that's going to draw them a card. Yeah, so we'll let them draw the one. We've got to draw a Deputy here. It's Deputy or, I mean, a land here. Land or bust. I, uh, yeah, well, that's how it goes. We kept a one lander, so can't be too surprised here. Yep. Yep. And now they probably have something to, like, block, or, I mean, to, like, protect it. Karametra's Blessing. Yep. No land, so we pass again. Sure thing, bud. How many cards are underneath there? Yeah, okay, that's a lot. Maybe I'll draw a land. Nah, I didn't. Alright, GG's. I guess these could trade for some time. Until I do draw a land. They're at 44, so it's gonna be a long time until I kill them. Block. We'll hide the green from them. So that means they deal- they gain another 12 here. How am I ever going to get past this Adanto if I don't draw a land? There's still a shot, I guess. Because I drew a lot of Linvalas here. 
The issue is I'm pretty sure they have Karametra's Blessing. Yup. All right. Okay, that, that's that's enough. I tap. I concede. I concede. I tap. You got me, deck. You got me. All right. Meddling Mage, sure. Skyclave Apparition, sure. I don't think I want any concerted defenses here. Doesn't seem like it's needed. I'll keep. Yeah, this is fine. Play the land or the tap white land. Play the green source next. Ooh. Actually play that next. Saram. That's a good one, so I'm told. So now we go ahead and play the, the green source that we need. And we're going to immediately pick off Saram here. Curious Obsession. Uh, I don't mind trading. Oh, that's fine. Do we let them draw a card? Yeah, I, I guess that's fine. They could draw a card. We'll take four. It's not the end of the world there. This. Go ahead and take that from them. Issue is like, I really want to save this for something like a Spirit Dancer, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that one. Oh, nice. Okay, I can save that now. Save the, the Glass Pool Mimic. Have it become a Skyclave Apparition. Pick off the Lurus. All right. They need to have an enchantment on Lurus in order for it to get Karametra's Blessing, right? That's fine with me. Exile the Lurus. And that should be game. All right. So on to the next one. How are we doing today? We can continue to eat stuff in their graveyard with Apostle of Light. I, I do like that. I do like that. Uh, Coco, go down one. I will... I think I'm actually going to keep this. Yeah, we have, a, we have a good amount of interaction with the opponent. And we have Settle the Wreckage. So, kind of on board for that. Go ahead and just play Pelt Collector now. Go Glass Pool Mimic next turn. Then play uh, Archpriest of Ar Ar Iona. That's a problem. It's a big problem. So we don't draw a land. We're, we're like in trouble. I'm, I'm going to hold back. I'm going to play another Pelt Collector here. I need a land. An untapped white source would be ideal. I need two of them so I can secure the Settle the Wreckage. I probably can't let this connect. Yup. Yep. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. However, we can double block, I guess, something, but... Yeah, that one flies. They drew two cards this time. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's no way we get out of this, right? Yeah. Yep. Two cards every time. Oh, my gosh. They are going off. Yep. I mean, had we had a land, I think this would have been a different game. It wouldn't have been as bad. I can still try to hold out for Settle the Wreckage. Sure. Seems good. At this point now, I think it is all but over. We have to draw two lands and we didn't we already missed one. GG's. Well, that actually was quite the party. I we, we got a solid chunk of wins there in the middle. Uh, and then unfortunately at the end there, we kind of just got a little land stuck. But you know, the deck was fun. Uh, it felt pretty good to dunk the blue-white deck, uh, both of them, and even beat goblins. Losing to decks that, uh, you know, example, like, we lost to Mono Black, that was a bit rough. And yeah, we lost to Auras at the end there, which I have to also imagine is a pretty problematic matchup, uh, if not dealt with efficiently. So, cards like Meddling Mage are looking to be really amazing right now, and the ability to Coco or, or even use that Nissa Steward of Elements, which, by the way, this is really rare for me to say, but I, I really like Nissa Steward of Elements in this deck. Uh, considering that almost every creature that we play, you only plus Nissa once, her plus two, and then almost everything in our deck is playable outside of like the Yasharn out of the sideboard. So this that was actually a very sweet sideboard card for this style of deck. Um, I think maybe the only thing I would change is maybe a few more Disdainful Strokes or something just to like counter the bigger spells and all of that. But otherwise, this is just a, an awesome deck. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and we ended at 3-2. And, and, you know, you can't really ask for more than that. More wins than losses. So, awesome with Seal. Awesome deck. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for submitting your list. And, of course, anyone else that wants their deck list made into a video, feel free to email me at, of course, the Asian Avenger or Krim at mtggoldfish.com. 
Uh, and other than that, feel free to leave a like and a sub. Hit the bell icon to be notified when a brand new video goes live. And as always, your friendly neighborhood Asian Avenger signing out, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.